Good morning, Pastor Rob here. Today's our first devotional as I enter retirement, and uh, I'm hoping to do a daily devotional for under two minutes. We'll see what happens. But uh, as we, we do a lot of street evangelism, we talk to people on the street about Jesus Christ. And I just want to address the most common answer uh, that I receive when I ask people, what will you do to inherit heaven? How are you going to get to heaven? What is your understanding of when you stand before God at judgment? What are you going to tell him uh, to get yourself in heaven, for example? So if he asks you, why should I let you in uh, to heaven? What are you going to say? And I ask that question all the time. The most common answer to that question is, I'm a good person. And you know, that's, a, that's okay. You are a good person. But that is not going to get you into heaven. As a matter of fact, I've even said, there might even be nicer, gooder, <laughs> more compassionate, empathetic people in the world than are in the church. But what's the difference? The Bible says in Romans 3, and I'm going to read it. No one will be declared righteous in his sight by observing the law. In other words, by works or by good works or by being a good person. Nobody will be declared righteous. Rather, through the law, we become conscious of sin. So we know there's a sin. This is the issue. The difference between those going to heaven and those not going to heaven is that the issue of sin has been dealt with in their life. Well, how do we do that? It's not through good works. It is only through the blood of Jesus Christ. And let me read that real quick. But now a righteousness from God. In other words, we have to be righteous when we stand before God. It's not our righteousness. It's not our goodness. It's not our good works. It's the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And how do we obtain that? By confessing our sins, by believing in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And he takes his blood and he places that over our sin. And then we inherit uh, his righteousness through our belief, through faith, by grace, through faith. But now a righteousness from God apart from law has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness comes from God through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There's no difference. This is what I said. There's no difference. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Therefore, we all need Jesus Christ. Doesn't mean we all need to be good people. We'll never be good enough. God presented him as a sacrifice of atonement through faith in his blood. So that's the answer. If you want to get to heaven, you have to be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. How do I do that? By confessing my sins, by believing in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and having my sins forgiven, uh, and our sins being paid for by his blood. And the, the, that's in Romans 3, by the way. The next one's in Hebrews chapter 7. Jesus intercedes for us. Uh, the Holy Spirit prays for us in Romans chapter 8. If you don't know how to pray, just ask the Holy Spirit to pray on your behalf. He will do that, Romans chapter 8, which I think people should read every day. Jesus sacrificed for our sins. This is Hebrews 7, uh, 27. He, he sacrificed for our sins once for all. And in Hebrews chapter 9, Jesus entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, having attained eternal redemption. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12, he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, having attained, uh, obtained eternal redemption uh, through his blood. And in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, the fact of the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood. What saves me? The blood of Jesus Christ. And without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. In other words, the only difference between those going to heaven and those not going to heaven is the fact that they believe in Jesus Christ. Their sins are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, which is a requirement as an atonement for our sins. We've all sinned. There's no one good enough to get yourself to heaven. So I just want to address that question. Can I get to heaven by being a good person? No. Should I be a good person after I'm a Christian? Absolutely. I should be a good person, a loving person. And we should present the gospel in love because 1 Corinthians 6, 9 says we were all uh, sinners. And there's a description there, 1 Timothy chapter 1, another description of sin there. And Romans chapter 3, it says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. If you want to make heaven, you have to believe in Jesus Christ and have your sins covered by the blood. That's the only way we're going to get there. So have a great day. This is day one.